All right, today we're going to talk about the College Supermatch tool that's available in Naviance. The first thing I want you to do is open up your web browser and go to the main homepage for Fishers High School. You can go there by typing in https colon backslash backslash fhs.hseschools.org. So go there right now. All right, once you're on the main homepage for the Fishers High School website, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. There's a link called Naviance right here. You're going to click on that link. That will take you to a new page on the website with lots of information about Naviance. So again, Naviance is a free tool that's available to all students throughout high school. And so if you read through some of these bullet points, it will tell you some other things that you can do with Naviance and some other ways it can be helpful. But again, today we're just going to talk about the College Supermatch tool. So down below, um, in a second, we're going to click on this link. This is the link that actually takes you to your Naviance account. And so if you click on this link, you'll need to put in your username and password. Your username is most likely, well, it, it's your email account. So it's either most likely your school email account or a personal email account. You would have made this with your counselor at some point in the past. Your password is most likely your lunch code, um, the password to your email account, or just a password that you would have made up at some point. So again, we're going to put in our username and password. So again, that's our email and then whatever password you have. If you've already put in your username and password in the past, it's going to bring you right to your Naviance page. And so I've already done that. And so this is what the home page for Naviance looks like. All right, so within Naviance, you'll see these different words you can click on up at the top. Today, we're going to have you click on colleges. We're going to go to the main college homepage. So on this page, as you scroll down, you'll see lots of different tools that you can use. Today, I want you to click on the Supermatch tool. It's the one with the magnifying glass that's right here. So click on Supermatch, and it will bring you to a new page. And what we're going to do today is we are going to do a search. And basically, the, the, the Supermatch College search is a way to look for colleges based on lots of different factors or different types of criteria. So today we're just going to kind of do that. I'm going to show you how it works. We're going to click on right here, select criteria to start. Okay, so we're just going to kind of make up some things, but um, very fir the first thing we're going to talk about is location. And so we're going to search by distance. And so this distance is, is a certain number of miles from Fishers, Indiana, 46038. And so we're going to look for any college within 50 miles of Fishers High School. Um, I'm not really concerned about if it's a large city or a small city or any of these other things. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit this arrow button. It's going to take me right. Next, you can choose what kind of degree offerings um, the, the college has. I'm going to say bachelor's, which is a four-year college. And then you can also search majors, you can search minors, and you can add other information. So again, add as much information as, as you want to add. The more information you add will probably help you create a more specific search result. So we're going to hit this arrow button. And for admission, I'm going to say that I have a 3.1 GPA. And we're going to, I just want you to look at some of this other information. Again, we're just going to put in the GPA right now. I'm going to hit the arrow button. You can also, um, we have some diversity information, so you can kind of look at this, but these are some other options. I'm not going to type anything today. I'm going to hit right. Again, you can, you can check off many of these other options. The next one's cost, which I think is definitely important. So I'm going to say the maximum total cost for tuition, fees, room, and board. So this is money that you pay for both classes and just to live on campus and to eat. So that's what the maximum total cost is. We're going to set an amount and we're going to we're going to say that the max number we want to spend is $20,000 per year. Right? Also, I'd kind of like to know like in Indiana since we live in Indiana, like what are the costs in Indiana? So I'm going to check Indiana too. 
All right. Um, again, there are some other categories you can check, other boxes. I'm going to click right. There's info on student life. There's info on athletics. And then there's more info for some extra resources that you can check. Okay. So once we're done with all that, we're going to kind of scroll down. And right now, there are, it looks like there are four institutions that fit our, our profile. And so as you scroll down, we have Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, which is IUPUI. And you can kind of read about some of the academic, you know, why was it an academic match? What are some of the average SAT or ACT scores? Um, under highlights, you can see if this college is coming to visit Fishers High School and how to sign up. You can read about the cost as well. So as we scroll down, we're looking at Ball State University, IU Kokomo, and then Purdue. So those all fell within our search, um, along with Martin, Crossroads Bible, IU East, and so forth. So as we go down, you can see that, like here, for example, University of Baltimore has only a 75% match. If you check why, you can read about, so basically it, it did not meet our criteria 50 miles away, but it did meet the cost being less than $20,000. So again, um, that's just, that's kind of the way you want to read it. Another thing to consider is, so say for example, if, if you know, IU University East, or here, I'll actually scroll up. Okay, we're going to look at, I'm going to click on IU University Kokomo. So if you click on that, you can actually, I'm going to see what happens here. So if you click on that, this will show you a lot more information. Acceptance rate, grad rate, the price, a lot more information. You can read about the college um, and so forth. So this gives you a lot of information. So we're going to go back again to that very first page that we were on, which actually I had to go back to my first tab that's open. Okay. We're going to assume that, that you've read about a couple of schools that you like, and we're going to favorite IEPUI, and we really like Purdue also. And we also like IU Kokomo. Okay, so we're going to favorite these three. The reason why that's important is so later, um, if you come back into Naviance later, you can actually go up to, here, I'm going to show you this real quick. So if you click on colleges, and then you click on college I'm thinking about, this will keep that list of your favorite colleges that you found. So when we click on this, we can scroll down, and some of the schools that we favored it are now in this list right here. And so in the future, you know, when you've, after you've kind of gone through this assessment and you forget what colleges you found, this is a great way to go back and find the, the, the colleges you really like. I'm not sure why Chicago State's on this list, and so I'm going to remove it. So check this box. I'm going to go up to remove. I'm going to remove it. One other thing about the college I'm thinking about. So in the future, when you guys are, so for seniors, and you're ready to do your application, if you have any colleges in this list of colleges I'm thinking about, you can, and you've completed your application to the college, you can check this box. IEPOI, and we're going to say, let's move that to the application, which is kind of a completely different step. So anyway, that's a little more information on the colleges I'm thinking about. So again, today, that's how you use the Supermatch tool. Um, please feel free to share any of that information with your parents. If you have any questions about anything, including how to log into Naviance, um, please stop by guidance to see your counselor or reach out to us via email or any other method. Thanks for watching this video.